Dating abuse is the exercise of a pattern of power and control within a relationship. It can literally happen to anyone, any age, like any ethnicity, any religion, any sexual orientation, any gender identity. Studies have shown that the highest rates are between the age of 16 to 24. Day One was started because there was no one who was doing work in the area of dating abuse and domestic violence among teenagers and young adults. At that time in 2003, um, there was no one even using the words dating abuse. Day One does a unique mix of direct services and prevention services. We are often providing a lifeline or a connection to someone who has been intentionally isolated from their communities. They can connect with a social worker, a counselor, or an attorney to help them assess what's going on. Within the last few months, we helped a young woman who was experiencing serious harm in her relationship. She'd been assessed as at um, incredible amounts of danger. And like many relationships, this one, the violence was cyclical. She was definitely sexually abused. She was drugged a number of times. She was strangled, she was slapped. He uh, took videos and um, intimate photos of her without her consent and threatened to send them to her family. She didn't want to talk with police. She wasn't able to go to court because that would have created greater danger for her. And our legal services staff and our social services staff worked with her patiently over the course of a year, waiting until she was ready to make a decision to leave her relationship, put her up overnight, bought her a plane ticket, and helped her leave the state because that was the thing that was going to be necessary to make sure she was going to be safe. We call it developing healthy relationship habits or skills. So that means preventing violence or dating abuse before anything bad ever happens. And that's our goal. The patterns of how teens are in their relationships with each other will often set patterns for how they are later in life in their adult relationships. Whenever I ask students, is jealousy a sign of love? Almost 70, if not more, percent of them say yes. Jealousy is a very natural and normal feeling. I tell that to students all the time. Um, but the issue with jealousy is when it becomes extreme. The professionals that we have assisting young survivors and providing education in schools are powerfully respectful of young people. What's really fascinating to me is if I say something and they strongly disagree with me at the beginning of, the, of a workshop, um, and then at the end of the workshop they're like, wow, you made me think about this differently. The sun says, thank you, Jet, and inside it says, Dear Jet, thank you for taking your time out of your day to teach us how to have a good friendship and teach us how to talk to each other respectfully. Young people that we're working with don't just come in and out of day one, but many of them become a part of our ongoing leadership development work and become leaders within their own schools to create a school culture and climate that promotes healthier relationships. Young people can change the world, and the way young people can change the world is when you help them navigate relationships and conflict and sex and love and consent in ways that are earnest and healing.